hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well and having a good day last night i went to morrison's to pick up a couple of too good to go surprise bags and for once my local morrison's has not disappointed i couldn't record these last night because it was late last night nathan was playing up and my pain level got to an all-time high so i had to just call it a day and um go to bed so there was nothing in the bags that was perishable minus one second there was one thing strawberries uh they came in that one right okay there we go sorry <laughs> um there yeah. so Apart from the strawberries, I could just leave these bags on the kitchen counter and they were fine for me to record today. Nathan is at nursery this morning, so it gave me t plenty of time to get some housework done and some recordings done and some editing so that I can produce some videos for you guys, which I hope you are enjoying. Um, these bags cost me £3.9p each and like I said, for once, my local Morrisons has not disappointed. Um, if you are new here and have, haven't have seen any of my videos from Morrison's before, go check out my playlist. There is a few and I keep trying them and checking them out and all that lot because I see other YouTubers get fantastic Too Good To Go Surprise bags from Morrison's but my one is just very hit or miss. And um, I suppose it just depends on who packs the bags on the day. But I like the person that packed these bags. I do like them <laughs> quite a bit. So um, I'm going to do my usual trick. Put a bag on the floor or to the side. And then I'll just empty out a bag of the products and show you what I actually got. So we'll push this one to the side. Please ignore the Udi. I am cold. Um, it's not exactly the hottest day out today. Nathan's at nursery. So I'm not putting the heating on just for me. I just bunged my lovely over the top of my clothes so that is what I am wearing um let's pull you a bit closer actually so I haven't got a shell there we go I'm still in frame yeah let's move you a little bit further forward there we go okay right these bags are huge and they are heavy um yes there is going to be um duplicates of some of these items because I have bought two bags on the same day and chances are there might be some duplicates in the bags already. That's not a problem for us. I have a family of six to feed. Um, they are never ending. They, they are continuously eating. And now Chloe has a boyfriend as well. And bless his heart. He is a fantastic eater. He, he loves his food, which is great. And um, I know a couple of my um, friends and family are going to be hitting hard times now as well. So what I'm going to start doing is trying to help them out with great deals and offers. Whenever they come up, I'm going to tell them about them. Or if I have a surplus amount of um, stuff, of, of food, I'm going to offer it to them as well. Like my mum and dad, they've asked me to keep an eye out for Lidl's pound fifty fruit and veg boxes. Because they've seen what fantastic items I get in mine. And... Um, so whenever I go into Lidl, if I see some, I'm going to pick them up for my parents as well. But for now, let's get back on to showing you what I've got in this Morrison's bag, shall we? Which, you yeah, know, can't go wrong. We have a big bag of apples. These are little apples, which is great because the fruit bowls, I have two of them, they're behind you. And I like the great big apples that you can get from Lidl. But the problem with that is Nathan goes to the fruit bowl and he'll take a bite out of the big apples and then put it back or he'll put it in the bin, which is not very good. So at least if I have little apples in the fruit bowl, he's more inclined to take that and um, it won't be so food waste. Food waste? Won't waste so much food, if that makes sense. But there is a lot of apples in this bag and, and there is another bag of apples there we go another bag of apples um they are just green grocers there's no actual name of the apple 
But what I'm going to do as well is um, if you put the apples in the fridge, it makes them last a bit longer. And I have some puff pastry in the fridge that needs using up. So I'm going to um, make some like pastry tartlets with some of these. So that will be all good and it will be a nice little um, pudding for the kids as well. Now we have some Warburton's Soft Bagels. Chloe likes bagels and these ones are pre-sliced as well. All good there. Um, we don't need them out this week. So these are going to go straight in my freezer ready for next week, next week and I'll pull them out for when we do pack lunches. So all good there. And then we have... Genius Deliciously Gluten-Free Scotch Pancakes. So we have them. Nathan is loving Scotch Pancakes at the moment. He's not going to know whether they're gluten-free or anything. He has a couple of these every morning now, or he has done for the last few mornings, with a little bit of Nutella spread on top, and then he has some fresh fruit on the side. So he will have them for breakfast. Then we have... Bee free naan breads, stone baked original, gluten free, wheat free, vegan friendly, dairy free. They look good. And what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of not using them as naan breads. I'm going to put these in the freezer ready for when I make a big batch of my hidden veg tomato sauce. And I will turn these into pizzas. And then my family won't know. And then it's quick, easy dinner. I have the red sauce on hand. I always have toppings for pizzas. So um, these can make pizza bases. Fantastic pizza bases. Um, we do have crusty rolls, which are a bit funny. They're a bit squidgy. But um, I don't know what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I could just reheat these. Um, by putting a little bit of water on them and then in the air fryer they go and they will crisp up just like they were freshly baked. If we're not going to use them tonight, I'll do the same thing for tomorrow lunch because Wednesday the kids are home for lunches. So um, I could do soup and crusty rolls. So that would be all good there. We have some red chilies, medium red hot chilies. Nothing... They look completely and utterly fine. So I'll take them out of the packaging, put them in the fridge, and they will last a good couple more weeks. No trouble. Chilies do last well in the fridge. And then we have some bread. We had have a seeded white bloomer. All good. Bread freezes really well. And I have run down my bread in the freezer. So this will go straight out in there. And it is really nice and soft as well really nice and soft it's only the 400 gram loaf is it 400 grams yeah 400 gram loaf no problem there i do have another loaf so again this will go in the freezer and being that it's only 400 gram loaf um if we pull one loaf out and we don't all want bread it's not all going to get wasted which is great but um, if you are just like a, a small family and you do get a loaf of bread, you can always freeze it individually, like a couple of slices. Um, so you can just pull them out as and when you need them. Or you can make pre-made sandwiches like I've done in the past as well. So last item, and then we throw the bag on the floor, the usual trick. We have a Cadbury's Caramilk. There we go. Um, Nathan doesn't like these. Um, I don't know if anyone in my family does. So I got a couple of besties so that can go in their bags ready for when I see them. You know who you are because you watch my videos. They wind me up, they do. They, whenever they watch my videos, they put it on the TV and then they take a photo and it does wind me up. You know who you are. Yeah. Right, let's push this to a side and get out the content of the next bag. Russell, Russell, shove that to the front. Here we go. Right. So as you saw, there was a Punnett strawberries there. They're a bit juicy, but I'm going to slice them straight up for Nathan for when he comes home from nursery, and he will be well and truly happy with them. We have some of the Morrison's best 
scones, all butter. There we go. Scones freeze fantastically, but they are going to go straight to my mum and dad. I'm seeing them this afternoon, so I'll give them them and they can have jam and cream on them tonight. Same as, I'm going to give them a bag of apples. <laughs> because I've got another bag of apples. And, um, you know, they like apples. And when I take Nathan round there, he raised their fruit bowl as well. So at least if I contribute to their fruit bowl, their fruit bowl, then I know he's not going to waste their food. So that is going to be for my mum and dad as well. We've got another bag of red chillies. That will probably go, I'll see if mum and dad want a bag of red chillies. I'm not going to give them to them if they don't want them. If they do, fantastic. If they don't, this bag I will probably um, wash, de-seed and chop up and then put in the freezer ready for when I'm doing a bit of cooking and I need a bit of diced up chilli. So that's them. Then we have some more beef free naan breads. So I have four in total, so we're getting there, all good there. And then we do have another pack. So we have six of these beef free stone baked naans. So that's great because we have a family of six, six piece of pizza bases made up straight away. Have some more scotch pancakes for Nathan. I will put these in the freezer so that they do stay fresh as long as, uh, until he needs them. If that makes sense. Um, one's a bit broken, but no problem there. Um, <laughs> we have a Swede. I'm the only one out of my six that eat Swede, but um, I did buy quite a few Swedes um, when the Easter 15p veg was on. I've already processed all that lot. That's all um, boiled in little diced up cubes and then some mashed as well all portioned out ready for when i want it um swedes will last a long time anyway so i'll just put this in my fridge and then when i decide to use it how i use it whether i make some soups up for my friends or what i will put that in there or i could even put some of that in um my five veggie tomato sauce and the kids would not know it's in there and it would add a sweetness to it, as well as a um, nice thickness to it as well. So there you go. Put a swede in your hidden veg red sauce, which you can use for pasta bakes, bolognese, lasagnas, pasta, uh, pizzas. You can use it for loads. And there will be a video of me showing you how I make mine. But it's never, ever the same. It's never, ever the same. It's, it's use up whatever veg you have in the fridge. We do have another um, bloomer, seeded bloomer. I will give this one to my mum and dad because, again, bread. There's only mum and dad, and then 400 grams will be perfect for them. Save them pulling out a whole loaf of bread for them. And same as they will have that loaf as well. So that's good for mum and dad. And then we do have one more loaf of bread, which is a farmhouse sliced loaf which is there i might have because these are nice small slices um i haven't got round to making any of my own bread since since last week but i have got to um get off my ass now that the kids are back at school and i've got to get back into the routine of being in the kitchen and all that lot um i am going to um start making my own bread again but sometimes you just need a bit of more processed bread on hand, if that makes sense. Um, and yes, I know I've said make sense a lot in this video. Um, I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to lay this lot out so you can actually see what I got for my money. Because obviously doing the video like this, you can see me pulling out the items, but you can't actually see how much I actually got all together for my money, which I quite like looking at. So I'm wondering if you guys would. So, um, Bear with me one sec while I lay this out, take you off the tripod and show you what I actually got for all my money. Okay, here we go, guys. Yes, it is more bread heavy this time, but we do have some other items that I've never got before. That's what's made this bag more appealing to me. 
so I will give them a go again. Um, three big bags of apples. Each one of these bags is 1.2 kg, so it is big bags. Then we have some scones, strawberries that are normally two pound, two packets of chilies. Um, we have, I mean, these naans. One packet was originally three pound twenty-five, so two of these would have been the same price as these bags, and I got all this pretty much free. So, but these are gonna be put in the freezer, and I'm gonna make pizza with them. Two loaves of bread for my mum and dad. Two for our freezer. Bread rolls. Chocolate bar. Actually, I might see if mum and dad want that as well as soon as I'm seeing them. Bagels. Swede. Another loaf of bread. Pancakes for Nathan. All in all, I think for once, from my local Morrisons, I got a good ba couple of bags. What do you guys think? Um, thumbs up if you like this video, please. It really does help. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It really does help my channel out because it tells YouTube that you like what I do. And if you do decide to subscribe, hit the notification bell next to the subscription button so that YouTube will actually tell you every time I upload a new video. So take care, guys. I'm going to get this lot put away. Then I'm going to enjoy half hour of peace and quiet before I need to go get my whirlwind of a son, Nathan. Take care, guys. Bye.